My next real one, come on down, come on down. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome. Would welcome, you welcome. please tell me? Wow. And um, what was oh. that? Oh, was it there? <laughs> oh. Okay. I will pay the rent. <laughs> Not I'll pay the that rent, baby. Nah, son. Hello. My name is Rhonda Bankston. I'm over 60, believe it or not. And I'm looking for a real one. We didn't have to guess, Rhonda, okay? Oh, Mildred. Oh. Hi, I'm Rhoda. I'm over 65 years. Over 65 is wild. Can you imagine that 65 years old plus still being self-conscious about your age? Nasty work, but maybe she's a traditional woman. Okay, let's give Auntie Mildred over here, Rhoda, some, some grace. And I'm looking for a real one. Hello. Hi, I'm Linda. Okay, I'm Linda. I'm 60 as of yesterday, and okay. I am looking for a real one. Hello. I like that switch, Hi, baby. Hi, I'm Liz. I'm 67. Liz. Um... Is Liz in a thought outfit? Can you see the under titty of Liz? What is going on here? What in the geriatric is happening here? What in the geritol? What in the ridiculous wig from Walmart or Timu or Wish with a flower in it? What, what is you doing, baby? For a real one. Okay, smooth for 60 years old. Okay, I understand. Hi, I'm Liz. What the f is this shit? Is Liz a guy? Liz! Liz, I shouldn't be able to see your under titty. Liz looking for the d <laughs> Liz want the strokeths from the mountaintops. I'm 67. I'm looking for a guy who uh, Hello. likes oh, to do look things at that wiggle, like, baby. like I like to Hold on, look at that wiggle, baby. I'm looking baby. for a guy who uh, hey, likes to do things shake like, it your like, wake, like baby. I like to do. I'm God for a guy damn. Who... Come on, Liz. Dog, don't tell me. She got on the wrestler. She got on the WWE outfit. Come on, Liz. Show them what you're working with, baby. Hi, I'm Liz. I'm 67. I'm looking for a guy who uh, she said, likes to I'm do things like, my ass. like I like to do. <laughs> Hi, my name's Patrice. What the I'm f is this? Patrice is on cocaine, baby. Hold like on. You Hi, can't, you can't who... go to Liz wiggling and shaking and shit like that with her diaper dandy on, with a front gut, with her bottom of her titty poking out, and then Blah. you go over. Likes to do things Hello. Like, like I like to do. Hi, my nah. name's Patrice. I'm 65. Nah, yeah. she look like Mickey Rourke. <laughs> God damn. My thing is, is like to do. You can't. Hi, my name's Patrice. Come on, Patrice. <laughs> Come on, Patrice. I see you, baby girl. Oh, I see you, baby girl. Come on, baby. Come on. Patrice, I'm 65. Patri and I'm Patrice used to be a dancer. An exotic dancer. <laughs> like to do. Hi, my name's Patrice. Oh, I'm get it. Hello, pirouette. 65. Hello. Get it, baby. Nice. And I'm looking for... No, it looks like she's holding her breath the entire time. Hold on. Hi, my name's Patrice. Oh, poor Patrice. Patrice looks like the old guy on Family Guy who whistles. I'm 65 and I'm looking for love. Get it popping, baby. I'm looking for the real one. A real Hi, one. Hi, my name is Joy Domain. I'm over 60 years old, Hello. and I'm looking for the real one. Go ahead, baby girl. Hello, my name is Henri. Oh, we got, we got grandmas on here. Not Granny, no. <laughs> granny, no. What you doing up here, Granny? Come on. Three, and I am 64, and I'm looking for a real one. You know what's so crazy? Out of everybody, this lovely young lady has a chance. I guarantee you. She has a check. Look at the difference between the. <laughs> look at look at the difference between the craziness. Like th th this is this is. Listen, my MTR was out there. This is what happens when you relegate yourself to a life of cats, right? <laughs> and you're like, F 
fucking shit, right? Right? Like me and my cat shepherding, my cat form is just, it's just not enough. I'm looking for love. And then you try to get back on the dating market. And I'm looking for love and I'm looking for the real one. Hi, my name is Joy Demain. I'm over 60 years old and I'm looking for the real one. I like Joy's cool. Okay, Hello, Joy. my name is Henri and Go I'm ahead, 64 Henri. and I'm looking for a real one. Yeah. <laughs> booga 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 motherfucker! <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is this shit? And I am 64, and I'm looking for a real one. Booga booga booga! Nigga, man. Hi, I'm Stacy. She crazy as hell. And I'm looking for a real one. Hi, my name is Sharice. Oh. I'm over 65. Yo, what is I'm happening here? A real one. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome there back is. to yet another episode of A Real One. I am here with some very special ladies, some very lovely ladies that are here to find a real one, here to find their man, their boo thing. Uh, their ladies, boo thing. Are you ready for this? All right. What's going to happen is you're going to have single gentlemen come up to you. They're going to walk up. They're going to say their name. They're going to say what they do. They're going to talk about some of the things that they like. If you're not feeling that individual for any reason, look, something they say, something, whatever, feel free to pop. Feel free to pop your uh, your heart. Which means They didn't go over Auntie Ethel's intro in the beginning. They got to get Auntie Ethel on there. You're just not feeling them. And the, the real one connection isn't there. But Yo, if you the, are feeling the it, balloons hold are on hearts. to that balloon. Because if you hold on to it and you're that final one, you found yourself a real one and we'll uh we might even pay for your date and things like that okay uh mcdonald's or roots chris we'll see where the where the real one connection goes uh i think we're ready ladies one more time are we ready yeah. oh, wonderful all right well let's bring out contestant number one contestant number one i know everyone needs love but this pop the balloon is getting out of hand <laughs> Listen, my guy, everybody needs love. You understand me no matter the A's. So, but I think this is from a very interesting perspective, okay? Because this is past wall. You got you got Liz the Destroyer over here that's trying to take all of their mans, right? You have the smooth, calm, sophisticated, church-going, lovely, young, older black woman, okay, who, who's learned that her modern woman weighs and her feministic values no longer matter. And she's put all of that bullshit to the side. And she's looking for a man. You understand what I'm saying? You have such a wide... Where did they even get these women from? This woman on the left has a sorcerer's outfit on. Shout out to Martel Lamar with a $5 super chat. I hope they signed a waiver just in case after the pop the balloon, no one gets a heart attack. Come on in there. Hello. You can stop right about there. Hello, how's it going? Going good. How are you? Good, good, good. Tell me your name, your age, and what you do. Uh, this is Martin. I am 66, and I'm a retired insurance executive. I love that. Oh. Retired insurance executive. Okay. Ladies seem to like that. Tell me, uh, what are you looking for in a real one? Uh, someone who's kind, uh, cultured. Um, Come on, fresh. Clint Eastwood. No, wait a second. I'm talking about my breakfast yogurt. Um, <laughs> oh. That was a good joke. I what what is you doing, baby? No, that was a good I'm joke. Talking about my breakfast yogurt. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! Someone wasn't feeling the yogurt. Okay. Let me find out that these women sixty plus are the same thing as the women under forty that we usually go over. <laughs> Let me find out them and learn from their mistakes. It was a good joke. Okay. Tell me some more. Um, there was a, a dad more. joke for sure. Financially independent. Hmm. Okay. And have their, you know what together. Mm, yes. Oh, oh. Have their, you know what together. Some people. Okay. Uh, interesting. Uh, let me ask you one more thing. What are some of your red flags then? Uh, something that if someone does one of these things in a relationship, it's a no go for you. Uh, it's you know real signs of insecurity and, mm. and acting crazy and stuff like that. Mm. Mm, okay, some of us act a little crazy. Okay, we did get a few pop balloons, so let's uh, come on, walk on over and see what these real ones are thinking. Uh, hello, can you give me your name, your age, and why you popped? My name is Sharice. I'm over 65, and I popped because he used the word crazy, and other people have used that word describing me also. Kind of annoyed me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> this can't be real.
This cannot be real. You just did Bob Barker a favor, ma'am, okay? People describe you as crazy because they've seen crazy. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with the modern old ass woman and the modern young ass woman? What is the meaning of this? You crazy woman. For describing me also kind of annoyed me a little bit. Sorry. Okay. I love women apologize though. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay, now then let me ask you this. Now, before he used the word crazy, is was he someone you were feeling? Was he your type? He's a nice looking guy. Let's get Thank that nice looking you. guy facing just a little more that Thank way. You. Yeah, so that camera can see how how lovely he is. Uh, and was she someone that's your type before she popped or is she your probably Middle of the road. Middle of the road. Yeah. Okay, got it. Okay, that answers our question. Well, thank you so much. Let's walk down to some of our other uh, pops, maybe. Hello, would you share your name, your age, and why you popped? My name is Joy Demain. I'm over 60, and I popped when you said you wanted the person to be financially independent. Oh, okay. Okay. Are you not financially independent? Oh, I am. Oh. So why the f*** would you... Oh my God, y'all about to drive me insane. <laughs> yo, yo y'all about to drive me insane. Y'all about to drive me crazy. Number one, if you were 60 plus years old and you're not still not financially dependent, reincarnate yourself, start over, become a butterfly next life. You've done this life incorrectly. That's the first thing. The second thing is, why would you pop his balloon if he wants you to be financially independent, you gold digger? How are you a 60 year old gold digger with skin loose on your body? Gold diggers have good skin connection still. All right, their titties are not down at their kneecaps. Let's go. Oh, so why, why is that a concern for you? Because I wouldn't want that to be a reason that someone was interested in me is that I could be a sugar mama or something. Got it, no sugar mamas. Okay, that's fascinating. Uh, now before, you, you, he said that and you didn't like that. Was he your type? Almost. <laughs> <laughs> what was the almost? What, what did it? Was it the, the comment about financial independence? Yes. I just don't, you know, I don't think that that should be the primary considerations. So that makes sense. Now, I got to ask you, was she before she popped or is she still someone that's your type? Um, middle of the road. Mm. Yeah. We got some middle of the road ladies. I don't want to be a sugar daddy. So... Mm. Kind of mutual there, the feeling mutual. Okay, I like that mutual. Makes you like me more. Be I get the feeling that he likes black women. Because I am yeah, financially yeah, independent. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. See? Fascinating. It's okay. You are. Mm. Well, <laughs> but did you want? Did you want a balloon back, or you're okay? No. I am what I am. I am what I am. Let's move forward to the next. Am. Uh, can you tell me your name, your age, and why you popped? I'm Linda. I'm 60. Come on, Linda. And I popped for the same reason. Financially independent usually equates into cheap. So, I also am financially independent. However. I'm old fashioned. I like men to pay my way on dates. Mm. So you're, you're, that's a no, that's interesting. Flag for me. A big now, when you said that, did that mean you wanted them to pay for the dates or are you going to pay for the dates? No, I'll, I don't have a problem paying. Mm. I just don't want to be the sugar daddy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Does that. So he's willing to pay. Great. So. But that doesn't change. He's got terrible. Po nice person to talk to, but terrible. Posture. Uh -oh. These bitches is angry too? Oh my God. If this at all is foreshadowing for what we have coming, I'm telling you my G's. I actually just downloaded a new um, stock app because what I used to do a couple of years ago is I would invest like $10,000 into something and then I would go up on a channel and then teach people how to do it, right? I just open up another account and I'm gonna send you guys the link to open up your own account. But the thing I'm gonna invest into is where, where, who owns Purina cat food? Who owns dog food, right? I'm going to invest in because this is so crazy that at 20 years old, you belong to the street. And then at 65, you still belong to the street. This is just so crazy because we're, we're watching not only 20 year old women unabashedly deselect men for ridiculous requirements, but you're now watching 65 year old women doing the exact same thing. If this is not, if the case study should not be performed on this, then I don't know what to tell you. This has to be studied, all right? We're gonna invest in the cat food as an MT army and an MT era. I'm gonna make y'all some money too. Let's go. Mm. Oh. oh wow okay 
All right. So so he's is he your type or because of the No. The posture. Yeah. The posture. Okay. Now is she someone that's your your type? She's very nice. Yeah. Hmm. So not middle of the road this yeah. time. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Shocking. Uh, can I get your name, age, and why you popped? My name's Patrice, and I'm 65. Okay. And the reason I popped was you don't really know what you want. You came out very insecure. Uh, Maybe the cameras made you nervous, but you were looking up thinking, well, what do I want? I wanted this. I want. So I just didn't see you didn't have that secure internal security to say, I want this. I want strong. What do you feel about that? Do you agree? Are you? Hey, fair enough. That's how I come across. But do you know in your heart you are strong? You're... I know I'm strong. Okay. I'm just not a typical macho man. Mm, macho village people. Okay. I understand. Uh, now, is she someone that's your type? She's, yeah, she's middle of the road. Yeah. Oh, so we went <laughs> middle of the road. Uh, is he someone that's your type? Well, you know, if I got to know him, maybe he isn't so insecure. So, you know, he's got the height. That's good. You know, he's got most of the hair. That's good. <laughs> that's good. His smile. That's good. But the insecurity was, you know, first impression. So that's where I stand on that. First impressions are everything. All right. Well, These let's walk are on back then because I believe that we have a few balloons that are not popped. Some unpopped balloons, which is a beautiful thing. Um, I'm going to see, do you have... Uh, well, you know what? Let me ask you this. Uh, this is a really deal-breaking question. Only on a real one do I ask this question. Uh, religion or politics? Now, do those things matter to you in a relationship? Should someone be super political, not political, super religious, not religious? Share with that. That might make a difference. Yes. I do like someone who is open-minded hmm. and who is uh, on the liberal end. Hmm. And with respect to religion, I'm sort of ambivalent, but I would say I'm more agnostic than yeah okay oh that'd be popping yeah. we did get a pop it's a great question i'm the only one that asked those kind of things let's come on down and uh let's see why we got a pop uh nate i already told it's de definitely religious based she gives me church vibes age and why you pop hi my name is Henri, and i'm 64 and i think you're really cute i do i you got that height nice eyes i like the, her the dimples the whole thing is going but i am deeply religious yeah you could tell i understand Hey, that's just so you. I would not mind having her as a granny. You know what I'm saying? She's she's got a she's got a soul about her. Do you think you could date someone that's deeply religious or? Um, you know, as long as it doesn't uh, interfere with who I am. Hmm. Okay. I think it's acceptable. But you do I, I feel as though she'd read me a great bedtime story. Um, uh, by the way, I, I, I think it is so whack to see a 65 year old liberal man grow up. Greg, Greg, grab your balls. Go shoot a gun. You feel you could date someone that isn't deeply religious? Oh, no, because it will interfere. Because if you're really religious and that person isn't, it's not going to be a good mix, no matter how cute they are. Got it. Got it. Okay. Did we get a pop here? We got a pop? Oh, you still have your balloon. Are you hiding? Oh, okay. She's hiding her heart on her back. Okay, got it. All right. Well, that was an important one. Uh, we can walk on back. We still don't have, we still have some unpopped balloons, which I love to see. Do you have an essential question that you want to ask these ladies to maybe narrow it down? Uh, an essential question. Yeah. Uh, what is um, the best date that you've been on? Hmm. Let's start here. The name, age, and best date you've been on. My name is Rhonda. I'm over 60, believe it or not. And the best date I've ever gone on was the guy just fixed lunch and we went to the park and just sat to get to know each other. Okay, because Rhonda. Because a restaurant may be noisy, a movie, yeah. we can't have a conversation. Okay. And it was fabulous. I enjoyed it. Okay. Very good. Let's go okay, to the next uh, name, age, and best date. Which is Sorceress well, I'm Outfit. Over 50. And um, I would say. Wait, what'd she say? That maybe the best. And Let's go to the next uh, name, age, and best date. Well, I'm over 50. Baby girl, we got to stop this, all right? You cannot say you're over 50 and you look 72, okay? That's a big difference, all right? If you were born in the 40s, just let the brother know. And over 50 is wild. Um, I would say that maybe the best date was... When we took you might as well just say you're over five years old, right? <laughs> there is you're over five years old and you're under a thousand, right? <laughs> the nerve of you. This fantastic 
a gymnastics class, and um, we did all kinds of gymnastics. And it was just a lot of fun, very athletic, and uh, I loved it. Wonderful. Let's go to the next. We got two more. Let's figure out name, age, and best date. My name is Liz. I'm 67. And to be honest with you, I haven't been on a date in a long time. Okay. So I can't really answer it. What, ever in your life, you never had like a best date? I mean, I did have a best date, but it's been such a long time ago, I can't remember. <laughs> got it. At least you know it was the best, though. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Does that, that's okay for you? Yeah. And uh, yeah, okay. name, Pop age, Liz's and balloon, please. best date. Hi, I'm Rhoda. I'm over 65, and the best date is always for me, dinner and a show, and we'll have plenty of time to talk before, during, and after. Mm, very like good. Mm, okay, well, let's back it on up then, because now I'm going like to too. borrow Patrice's toothpick. Uh, based on that, I'm going to give that to you, because they are holding out for you. You have okay. four lovely ladies. Uh, okay. let's, let's just narrow it down uh, pretty significantly. Yo, Liz. Oh, my God, Liz. <laughs> Liz, stop it, baby. You know what's funny about this as well? And this goes to show, hold on, let me. I ain't shit, I ain't shit. <laughs> Baby girl, feet hurt. All right, all you lovely young ladies, that's, <laughs> that's that. Be chilling up in your pop the balloons with all of these heelage on. Stop it, you're tearing your feet up. Gravity doesn't like you. You see the, what was her name? Rhonda, all the way on the end. She's like, F this shit, flats, baby. But Liz, can, can we tell which one's Liz? Can we, t can we tell which one's Liz? Liz is tripping, baby. I ain't shit. Liz, Liz got the, uh, she's got wrestler legs. Let's go. Only I want you to eliminate two. I want you to pop two based on what you heard, based on what you've seen. Um, I want you to eliminate Two. Okay. Oh. Liz. Bi Liz about to bite the dust. Oh. My goodness. Wow. And then one more. One more. Oh, okay. Well, I told you he likes sisters. Damn, I'm good. Oh, let's start uh, right here then. Let's start right here. Come on with me. Uh, why'd you pop her balloon? Um, probably not my type. Mm, okay. Tell Damn, me what I'm is good. your type. Black. Well, I've been married three times. Wow. Okay. But they were all these damn liberals. All kind of different. Mm. You know, and I think it probably takes a little more of getting to know somebody three to times get inside the head, mm. and not so much, you know, red flag. Skin deep, but mm. you know. Okay. So how can you tell she's not He's your down type with the based brown. on the? Since it's internal for you. Yeah. I think um based on a response or I just mm. based on what I kind of feel. Mm. Got it. Yeah. Got it. That makes sense. All right, well let's go down to the next one that you popped in. Uh, let's go down to the next one and uh tell us why you popped. She seems like a heck of a lot of fun. Mm. <laughs> That's right. She may not remember it, but uh <laughs> A lot of fun. <laughs> but again, the chemistry was mm, there. Okay. Yeah. Now, you left your balloon unpopped. He was someone that was your type. Yeah, he was until he uh, said that he was married three times. <laughs> and that if he would have said that right away, I would have popped my balloon right away because that tells me he doesn't know what he likes. That's deep. Is she right about that? Do you not know what you like? Uh, no, she's not right about that. Mm, okay, you know what you like. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's walk it on back. Well, I got you doing some walking, uh, but that's a good thing. You know, cardio is great. We have two balloons unpopped for you. We got two balloons unpopped. So uh, I'm going to throw it to the ladies and see if they have a question that they would like to ask this handsome real one. Do, do either of you have a question for him? What are you looking for specifically in a woman? So I'm looking for a companion for the rest of my life. Uh, someone who is retired or close to retirement and someone who I can spend all my days with and go travel with and have fun with and, and be myself with. I'm open, I have my passport. <laughs> mm, good, I do too. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, did you have a question down there? Well, let me, let me, let me, you can say that. Well, come on with me. Come on with me. Cause, uh, he might have, she does have a question. Uh, I, I'll tell you this right now. This, this chick better step up. 
She better step up because I think I think I think him and his sister Ro- Rhoda Rhonda. I think them two is about to be a thing thing. Uh, what's your question? My only question is why haven't you hurried up and picked me? <laughs> I know the criteria, and sounds like you meet the criteria for me for a real man, also. Well, I think it may be coming down to that. Whoa. Okay. Well, oh. I will walk it back. Okay. Uh, one of our final times walking for you, especially. Uh, do you have a final question for either one of them? And if not, yo, that shit surprised the shit out of me. Good, oh, good job. She made it be known. It's a little masculine, but I, t- I said she better step up. So she let it be known. I'm into you. I'm into you. All right. I'm gonna have to have you pop one and maybe find your real one. I think I'm ready to pop. Oh, oh. We're ready to pop. Who's, okay. Okay. Well, whose balloon? Whose real one are you gonna pop? Here's the thing. I called it from Jump Street. I said it looked like he likes sisters. I don't know. There's just something about it. the swag. I could just see him staying late night at the church service to help out. You know what I'm saying? I, I could just see him d- chilling with Sister Mary Clarence and then, I, I don't know. I feel like he plays the guitar. There's a coolness about him that I thought would make sense. But then other chick came on strong. She came on strong and she said, why ain't you picked me yet? Mother, <laughs> you, you should have, you should have picked me. Oh, what? Oh! 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 Well then, it was tough. tell me why, tell me why you popped Rhonda's balloon. Well, I think I like the lady. They're both beautiful ladies. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like them both a lot. I think I like I just the, the chemistry that I feel. Mm. Is a, a little bit, you know, it's a little special. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Wow, okay. Well, let's have her come on up then. Come on up with me. You're going to stand. Stand okay. right here with me. Yeah, you won't be needing that. Let me just ask a final... Let's step right here with me, just in case. Now, let me ask you this. These are some of my final questions. Uh, do you think that he could be your real one? Absolutely. I think he can be my real one. And do you think she could be your real one? I think there's a possibility. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, I'm going to say, can we clap it up? Because this is a real one connection. We got ourselves two real ones. So, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll take that mic. I'll take that mic. Oh, boy, they're ready to go. All right, go on out there, folks. Oh, my God. Clap it up for him, folks. Okay, he, he, he likes them a little bit less seasoned than what I thought. This is so dope, though. I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie. I think he was about to choose Rhonda, but she came through and said, I'm yours, daddy. That's exactly, yo, that's what she said. And she let it be known. She put the, re- she sent out the ill-choosing signals because we saw the motion switch towards this lady. And she came in in the clutch and let him know. I ain't going to pop you, all right? You're going to have to pop this thing later, but I ain't going to pop the balloon. I want you. I want you for a long time. Shout out to them. Here's the thing. When I saw her in the beginning, I think she was one of the ones that I said that looked cool. Let, let's relook. <laughs> she, whoa. Hi, my name's Patrice. Wait, I'm Patrice crazy as all hell. Hold on, let me see. I'm 65 <laughs> and I'm looking for Hold love up. and I'm looking for the real one. The real Hi, one. Hi, my name is Joy Demain. Okay. I'm over. Where's Liz at? And I am 64. Come on. And I'm looking for a real 58 years old and I'm looking for a real one. Hi. Hi, I'm Stacy, 58 years old. I didn't pick up on this before. Baby girl, you is not 58 years old. Stop it. And I'm looking for a real one. I'm looking for a real one. Hold on, where's Liz at? Was it Liz back here? Five, six, nine, or not Liz. Seven. That's I'm Liz. Rhoda, I'm over 65 years and I'm looking for a real one. When I saw this at the beginning, I said she might get somebody. Rhonda. Come on, Rhoda. Hi, I'm Rhoda. Go ahead. I'm over 65 years and I'm looking for a real one. Hi. I, li- I like that. And I think Linda might get someone hey, as well. I'm Linda. I'm 60 as of yesterday, and I am looking for a real one. Hi, I'm Liz. I'm 67. I'm looking for a guy who uh, hey, likes hey, to do things like, him, shake like, like I like to do. This is super dope. Let me make sure that I shout this guy's channel out um, because you guys may not be familiar with it. The last talk show. Shout out to you, brother. He was actually on Arlette's. Uh, he was actually on 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 Arlette's show for Pop the Balloon. 
and now he has his own Pop the Balloon show. So uh, he's doing a damn thing. I love the cast, the characters. I love what's going on here. This is super dope. I love that they got a match. All right, we could troll. We could make fun of him all day. But to see that there was potentially real love there after three marriages, do your thing. All right, listen, I've seen nothing but ones that have been here. So you guys want me to continue on Pop the Balloon Retirement Edition? Pop the Balloon AARP? $10 super chat. Although this is a joke, this is foreshadowing the road we are headed down. But the difference is men are learning and using passports. Men play close attention. The truth often told as a joke. All right, until next time, you two. You don't wanna see me get vexed. Bars on your phone, tell a man you can't jet. The big girl, the ones who can't stretch. Breaking the neck when we in the car next. You don't wanna see me get vexed. Bars on your phone, tell a man you can't jet. The big girl, the ones who can't stretch. Breaking the neck when we in the car next. Dead bars, need a fibrillation ASAP. Get boxed with a straight gap. And remind that the mind state they lack. Every time they incline, we go way back. All they wanna be is just.